Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. It's I, Captain Steve. And today, chums, I'm bringing you guys a review. A review of No Man's Sky. Yeah, not this No Man's Sky, though. This is No Man's Sky on Apple iOS. It's available on their mobile devices and iPads. Let's fire this little game up. I'm surprised this hasn't been banned. But execute to Mondo. Here we go. Boom. And we're in. So you can see there, this was filmed on an Apple iPhone. And yes, I'm going to be starting off from my save. So here we go, let's head on in. Now I must say, it looks quite graphically impressive. It looks quite nice for a mobile phone game. And I quite like the actual menu system. And when you actually get in game, you start off inside of a hangar. And it has a very sort of Star Citizen-esque type feel to it. And the fact that you can walk around on surfaces and also fly around in ships is kind of amazing for a mobile phone type game, it has to be said. I'm not too sure why the engines on these ships are fired up, that's just wasting of fuel. But you can see here that hangars, the actual lighting effects are quite nice. The actual controls, once you're actually on foot and in person, aren't too bad inside of the hangar. I was like, okay, well this looks pretty impressive so far. We even have a lift. We don't got lifts in No Man's Sky. Heck no, you can go up levels and down levels. I really wish we had lifts in No Man's Sky universe. But there we go, we don't. Anyhow. In the end, I managed to find my ship. It's that one there with the back open. And yeah, trundle inside and take on off and fly on out. So here we go. I'm going to cut to where I actually take off because it did. I did kind of do this by accident. I didn't know what I actually pressed to actually take off. But there we go. There I am. There's that button up there. There's also a land button that you can see next to that take off button. They're not the best of buttons. It's like on a ship with an arrow in front and a ship with an arrow behind. But there we go. Here we go. And uh, somehow I managed to land again without pressing the land button. This is where the controls go a bit squiffy. When you're inside of the ship it's a bit difficult to control and uh, yeah it's a bit difficult to see where you're going as well. I had my brightness up as high as my brightness would go and it's still freaking dark but then again I guess space is. It looks like they've gone for more of a realism type approach to this rather than having coloured nebula it was in no man's sky. So here we go I found a planet I just bounced off the atmosphere. In the end I managed to land my ship again by sheer freaking accident and uh, I was pressing the right button I believe anyway to land my ship but here we go I think these are the back doors open doors oh no these are the front doors so this is quite nice you can actually walk around your ship even though your ship doesn't look that big when you get in it's like a TARDIS and around about way chums there are a few areas that you can walk around in and I have landed on a planet and I was trying to find the back doors here we go I think I found them there and I'm gonna press open gate open gate there we go and it's opened and here i am on this beautiful alien world lovely and jubbly and you can see here i've all got all manner of stuff here already laid out for me i don't know how that happened oh there's another ship here can i fly you ship i can stick my head in through the freaking walls i can do that okay all right okay well, this is pretty awesome oh i can just get in through the cockpit on this one it's a lot smaller it's, okay brilliant yeah let me in Okay, I'm pressing buttons left, right and centre. I have no idea what actually lets me sit down in this thing. There is no guide to this, chums. There's no sort of helpful hints in the bottom corner or anything. There's nothing at all. And it feels a bit disjointed and squiffy. I mean, look at this. What the fudge? Yeah, the controls are weird. And I can just sort of defy gravity for as long as I like, even though there's no sort of underfrust. It just feels off, completely off. And this game is seriously weird once you get inside of a ship. On foot, it's actually not that bad. But when you're actually flying, holy fudge, I've got stuck in a bloody tree. Oh my days. Okay, how am I going to get out of this one? Okay, I'm pressing the land button like mad. That didn't actually la I don't know what happened there, chums. I think I just sort of blistered through time or something. But yeah, now I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Um... How do I get out? Okay, I'm just pressing random stuff now, people. In the end, hopefully it's going to let me out. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, 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 I'm sort of gliding now. There you go, I'm out. Ha ha! And I can walk through trees. Look at that. Heck yes. Stealthy like a freaking ninja. Heck yes. I can just sort of blur through things. I've got Buddhist skills. This is pretty darn sweet. Okay. But yeah, there's no collision detection whatsoever. And a lot of the flora on this planet, it looks good from a distance, but get up close. And yeah, there's no hitboxes. There's no nothing. Okay, I quite like this though. This is quite a cool little craft. It looks like a little tractor that hovers. 
Great. Well, it took half an hour to get on the dang thing. Whoa! Fudging hack, and we're off. Okay, well, this thing bounces. This is pretty weird, okay? Um, not what I expected. Oh, my days, where am I going? Um, yeah, steering does nothing at this point. <laughs> well, it was good for a while. That was short-lived. Okay, goodbye, little space tractor. Bye! <laughs> Brilliant, okay. Combat roll. Freaking excellent. I like the combat roll. That was quite a nice addition. I didn't expect that. Okay, yeah, I can just glitch my head through walls. Do you see that? I can see through into the truck's back end. Okay, well, let's get into this little swivel chair. Let's spin this around and let's go for a little drive in what I can only imagine is an exocraft. Oh, I like the animations on the back doors closing there. And there is actually a mech there as well. Frickin' sweet as. Okay, well it seems to be that they've almost robbed every idea from No Man's Sky and put it into No Man's Sky. <laughs> they can't even... They didn't... The, the blatant rip-off. They've just gone straight for the name as well. No Man's Sky. How the cheek of it? I don't know how this game managed to get up onto the actual Apple Store without severe scrutinisation of the choosing of name. Normally, Apple are very picky in what goes on the Apple Store. And this, for £1.99 in real money, it's... is it worth getting? That's the question to ask, I guess, isn't it? But there's not many other space exploration games out there, but would I call this a space exploration game? I have not come across a single creature on a planet. I haven't really come across a fret on a planet. And I haven't really come across a planet that isn't bugged to shite. Heck no I haven't. And I haven't come across a tree I can't drive through the middle of. Which <laughs> is just immersion breaking and it just feels like it's in beta test mode chums. This just feels like somebody was having a bit of a laugh. Could I rip off No Man's Sky? Oh yes, I kind of can. I'm gonna stick it on the App Store and be done with it. And it hasn't had hardly any updates. All of the reviews are terrible of it and um, yeah I will be handing over to EXO to give it a score yet I'm fairly sure EXO is going to be on the same sort of wavelength as I and say that no, not even going to review this because it's just a complete rip-off and it's a bad one at that. Now, I don't want to give any sort of credence to this game to say go out and get it even though it's only £1.99. I mean you might want to just to have a freaking laugh at it or just say hey I've got No Man's Sky on my phone do you want to have a quick go on it and people go what no way and then you can say yes way and they'll see the title screen and everything and then they get to this and they're like this is not no man's sky yeah it could be fun for that i like the fact that the window screens and the ships are actually see-through like they were in the tech demos back at the ign first and things from no man's sky oh my days now that was severely blurry okay i think they've made the ships fly faster than the phone can handle holy fudge this is mental um i can't land Okay, they really have tried to make this just like No Man's Sky, because I can't land for frickin' toffee or love and all money. Heck, no I can't. Okay, this they've got that bit perfect. <laughs> for fuck's sake! Um, this is really weird. This is like it's been sped up like 12 times, but it's not. This is the actual speed that the game runs at. This is, this is crazy stuff. If you flew this fast in No Man's Sky, it'd just crash. Um... <laughs> oh dear. Oh man, this is not good. This is not good. I can't work out how to get out the ships here, people. Um, yeah, the land button is not working. The get out of ship button is not working. Uh, it's just foobard. You know what? I, I think I'm just not going to bother trying to land. I think I might just take it for a little bit more of a flight. Let's fly on up into the atmosphere and see what it's like up there. Let's go see what the cloud layer's like or something, I guess. Because, yeah, I'm not getting out of this dang thing now. I wanted to try some of those other crafts over there that you can see. But no, it's not having none of that. Are they crafts or are they buildings? I really don't know. And when I try to fly co closer, I just fly straight past them. Because, yeah, the controls are that freaking sensitive. Okay. No, I'm still not able to get out of this blasted damn thing. Look at that! I'm doing ballerina moves through the actual freaking world! I don't think you can terrain manipulate in this either, because it just looks like a sheet of terrain. And it doesn't look like it's wrapped in a spherical object as well. I'm not seeing any sort of curvature to the horizon. This is flat planets. Flat earthers would love this game. Heck yes, they would. This is freaking weird. Okay, well, let's, um, let's just give up on that one then. So here I am looking for the cloud layer. There's not one. <laughs> There's no cloud layer. Okay, brilliant. And there's some particles up here. I don't know if they're supposed to be clouds, but they're really freaking not trying hard to be clouds. No, they're not. And there we go. You can see there that the horizon is just 
completely flat. But then again, the terrain below, it looks fairly okay. But look at this, the handling is just so off. You just tap it and you're off in a direction, then probably the direction you didn't want to go in. This handles like complete crud. It really does. It's not good at all. Um, if you do get this game and you do take off in this sort of ship, maybe I wasn't supposed to take off in this sort of ship, I don't know. But I can't actually get out of this ship. I'm now a prisoner of the freaking ship, chums. I, I don't think they actually put in an exit to this ship, so I'm stuck. So I have no idea what to do, and I've given up with this game. It's not really a game. This is just beta. Yeah. It's not even really beta, people. This game is just complete shite. And, um, yeah, we're going to have to go over to EXO, but the Wikidroid's got nothing on this. I can't find any other videos of this online at all. It only exists on the Apple Store, and why? I have no freaking idea why, chums. It's beyond belief, you know? I mean, just how? Just how did it make it on there? Anyway, let's go over to EXO, and let's see if EXO is willing to give this a review. Over to you, EXO, for the scores on the doors. Heck yes. Captain Steve, this game is masquerading as No Man's Sky. This is a blatant rip-off, and I do not wish to review it. I'm giving this a giant no out of 10. It is not being reviewed by me. Well, there you have it, chums. Exo has given the score, and he's given it a giant freaking no. That's a first. But yeah, I don't blame him, because there's no way that I would be recommending this unless you want to do it for a freaking joke, people. Yeah, it's 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 not even worth doing that, to be fair, people. It's not worthy of your £1.99, in my opinion. Until next time, people, you've been awesome. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck yes, there's also merch on this screen now. Awesome!